my God. The play. The play is on play. Of the day. Runner left side, got it! They're going to play it and play it. This is the play of the day. Check this out. Back to Burks. Burks steps back, corner three. Bang! Alec Burks again from downtown. 17 fourth quarter points, and it's 127 108. It's courtesy of Madison Square Garden Network. Burks made five fourth quarter three pointers, tied for the most by a nick in the fourth quarter of a game in the last 15 years. The other two players, J.R. Smith and Carmelo Anthony, play of the day. Play of the day brought to you by M Drive. Take the supplement I take every day, M Drive. Powerful ingredients backed by science. Help me get energized, stronger, leaner. Go to mdrivedan.com today. Free shipping and a 60 day money back guarantee. Don't let age beat you. Refine your prime with M Drive. Speaking of uh, that game with the Knicks and the Sacramento Kings, here is the Kings head coach, Luke Walton, after the game. I mean, I mean, look, I'm, I'm frustrated. We all should be frustrated. Uh, I, I don't know if I can say it's the most frustrated I've been. You know, there, there's things when we make the same. As a coach, there's only, you know, what you can do, you put a plan together and you work on things and you communicate those things. So, you know, the frustration comes out at times because you're not out there. You can't hit people. You can't run up and down and get it out. Uh, so, you know, the, uh, look, I was frustrated tonight. Yeah, he slammed his clipboard. You give up 140 points to the Knicks? It's amazing watching the NBA now because it's it's like strikeouts in baseball are not an embarrassment for a hitter. Giving up 130 points doesn't seem like it embarrasses any players. It should. But that's why when, you know, uh, I, Ben Simmons named to the All-Star team and people uh, said, well, yeah, great, he's a lockdown defender. Uh, who cares? Okay, but I... I do care. Like, the things that he does well, he does really well. He doesn't shoot. Therefore, we go, eh, he's flawed. But last night, Ben Simmons shut down Luka Doncic, and they won the game. Joel Embiid didn't play well, but his defense, he shut down Luka Doncic. And I think sometimes we forget, we look at what you don't do, not what you do. And Ben Simmons, to me, is a still a very good player, all-around player. And because he's a good defender, Rudy Gobert is named to the NBA, uh, you know, second team, first team. It feels like every year the last couple of years. Why? Because he plays defense. But with, you know, Ben Simmons, nobody says, you know, Rudy Gobert can't shoot. But Ben Simmons, because he's got an awkward shot or he's hesitant to shoot. Oh, we're going to use that against. That's a flaw with him. I was also watching Zion Williamson last night. Against the Bucks. Now he had 34. I, you know, the determination, a lot of times when you get your shot blocked, you kind of, you know, it's embarrassing or you recoil a little bit or you don't want to put it back up again. Zion Williamson, it's almost like Moses Malone. Moses Malone did not jump high. Moses Malone was relentless on the boards. And Zion is shorter than Moses Malone by a couple inches. And Zion can jump. But Moses Malone was never deterred. If, if he got a shot block, he just got it, put it back again, put it back again. Always great offensive rebound. Zion is like that. Zion doesn't stop. He knows going in, and his second jump is quicker than everybody else. You may block it, but he's going to be back up again before you know it. And you saw that last night. It was fun to see the Greek freak and Zion down the stretch. Yeah, Paul. Zion, the past uh, 10 games, is averaging 29 a game. He's averaging 26 on the season. Yeah. He's 20 years old. Yeah. You know, he's, he, he's nowhere near a finished product, but I love that he is not afraid to go inside. I love He, he attacks. He puts pressure on you. I, I always think that he should be shooting at least 10 free throws a game. And I don't know if that's because of his age that he's not getting those calls. I think that he thought that after the game last night. I think his coach, Stan Van Gundy, thought that as well. Quietly, in a professional way, they let the officials know that they weren't thrilled with that. But you have to earn your free throws, which I never understood. Like, I can't give it to a rookie or second-year guy 
you know, once you get status, then I'm going to get as, as if those players need to be gifted free throws. Uh, but Zion, not afraid. He attacks. And you know, I love it. Yeah, McLevin. When you're playing pickup, did you guys do that where if you miss a shot or got your own rebound once or twice, it was called a Moses Malone? Uh, growing up, I don't know if that was just a Philly thing. Like everybody says, you know, like, you know how some guys, like you do it three times, that's always called a Moses. Is that, anyone heard of that? No, I think it's a Philly thing. Have you, is there anybody better at that? Because I never Moses? went inside. Yeah, that's a thing. Yeah, so I would never go, hey, I'm going to have a putback here. Be like, no, I don't want to go inside. Bad things happen when you go inside. 